Hi, everyone. Hello. Um, love the movie. Thank um, you. You guys are awesome. So tell me, what was the creepiest part of working on it? I don't know if I think I think being around Bill Skarsgård when he was in costume, I think, was the creepiest thing. Um, especially when he would try to get, when he would get into character before the scene. I think that was the scariest thing. What were you gonna say? Uh, yeah, basically that. So. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, so what was going? So if that was the creepiest part. What was going through your mind when you first saw him on set? You know, what was going through your mind when you first saw Pennywise? I mean, it was scary. I mean, I, w I knew that I knew that Pennywise was gonna scare a lot of people, and I, and I was I was really excited. Yeah, it was really exciting. Actually, it was like fascinating. Just like how much effort he put into <clears throat> his character. It looked amazing. I'm like, you're going to scare people all over the world. So. And what about you? Um, just being in the room with him was uh, so surreal. It was so something I've always thought. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, I, I, I keep hearing stuff about him, rumors about him, and then it finally happened. It was just so amazing. Um, he's a very nice guy in real life. And, you know, he's not a murdering sure. clown. Um, nope. nope. He's not. Yeah. And, and what went through your mind when you first saw Pennywise on set? Um, I, th I just thought that um, I was kind of amazed, and um, it's it was a learning experience because I got to see um, Bill create this character that is not human at all, and mm -hmm. him become someone completely different from himself, and um, and I thought that was pretty. Um, I, I admired him for that, and I was I was just I felt like um, I, I felt like I had the honor of you know working with him, so I was very excited. Um, so tell me about the ways uh, director Andy Muschietti prepared the Losers Club, all the very all of you all to deal with Pennywise. He was really open about it. He really he really let us decide kind of what we were going to do. Um, Obviously, it was very professional. He he didn't he didn't let us do anything, but what? he wait what? I mean, he didn't, oh, okay, he didn't okay. let us do whatever we want. Um, <laughs> he I totally blanked. Jeez. Um, do you answer, Jaden? I I totally blanked. Sorry. Okay. Well, was there anything in particular? Was he like? Uh yeah, he was. He's always like asking us because we're all obviously kids and. These characters are kids our age, living the same life that we are. So I think he wanted to, he genuinely wanted to know what our opinion was on the scene and how we would actually act. As and a real child. As a real child, <coughs> and so, um, and he knew that. And but he's also so, he's so talented. He can, yeah, um, he can make us understand if he wants something. He he can easily make us understand what he wants, because um, usually some some directors. They'll tell you what they want, tell you what they want, but um, it's hard for you to, to grasp it. But he'll just like really help us um, get the right thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, in your opinion, then, mm -hmm. what sets the Losers Club apart from any other group of kids? Well, we're like genuine losers. Like we're outcasts. We're I mean, I feel like. In comparison to like Stand By Me or something, there I don't know if they were completely losers. Like they, I don't know if they had bullying experiences or anything. But we, you know, we have that story of being bullied and going through tough times with our parents at school, all that kind of thing. So I think that's what. And also maybe we fought a clown. I can't say that the Goonies or anyone else did that. <laughs> what about in your opinion? What sets the Losers Club apart from any other just like clique of kids? Um, what makes them unique? as a group of friends? I think uh, our relationship and how we stuck together no matter what. I mean, we fought a clown just to be together. Yeah. Um, we each gone through... Um, through. We each <laughs> gone through um, troubles uh, in our daily lives, and um, we have to live through it, which has made us the heroes, because we had to... Um, fight a monster that embodies fear and uh, we both fought our fear to, to um, just to have each other. Mm -hmm. um, you know it's really clear like 
during the movie, it, it really, fighting that monster, like you said, really brings the group together. And I'm wondering, you know, you see that those friendships and those bonds kind of build throughout. And I'm wondering how that, did that spill over into real life? Like, as you guys were going through the shooting, did you all become better friends? Yeah. How did that spill? What was an example of how that, like, happened on set? Well, from the beginning, we all just clicked, and we were instantly friends. So, mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, filming through the whole thing helped us a lot being friends, too. But I think I have, I have friends at home, but I feel like I can talk to these people about anything. Yeah. They might not want me to talk about that, but <laughs> we can talk about anything to, with each other because not many kids can say that they... They fought a killer clown with their friends, and that, that really gives us a bond. That's our real yeah, lives. It's like when kids um, gossip about someone or, you know, just d don't like a certain person and it brings them closer somehow. It's like mm -hmm. our hate for Pennywise brought us together. Yeah. 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 But, I, yeah, it's just like an instant connection with us. Um, I love you guys. In one word, and we can just do this to go down the line, in one word, what went through your mind when your character first encountered Pennywise? Proud. I don't know why I did a tongue roll, but proud. <laughs> oh, in an oak? Yeah, we can just go one. Just go um, one. In one word, what went through your mind when your character first encountered Pennywise? Oh, my character. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> That's your word. <laughs> That's my word. That's my word. Mm. Um, gasp. No. <laughs> oh, no, okay. No, okay. <laughs> um, for me, I think it was vengeance. Wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's wow. Okay. Okay. In one word, how would you describe the Losers Club? Mm. Triumph. Um, desperate. Um, geez. Together. Misfits, I don't know. That's good. That's cool. Um, in one word, describe working on it. Exciting. Awful. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Awfully amazing. Awfully amazing. Awfully amazing. You can't steal his. That's two no, words. You said two. You said amazing. I said awfully amazing. But that's two words. Okay. <laughs> okay. New. The best. The best. I'm trying to make it one word. The best. The best. <laughs> the best. The best. The best. Um, best. Okay. <laughs> okay. More than being scared, what do you hope audiences take away from it? Then in one word, or, or no, can we answer? Yeah. 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 Okay. The nostalgic factor, uh, and how we brought back to life um, Stephen King's story and turned it into what he really, really wanted. And I and hope, what he wrote. Sorry, what are you gonna say? Hope. One word, <laughs> but no. Uh. Um, uh, just to see how us um, outcasts can um, stand up to our fear and make our lives better. Yeah. It's not, um, yeah, it's not just about the horror and, and, um, the, the evil clown is also about uh, everyone's relationships and, um, how they grow and, um, why they're together and why they have to fight and, um, why they want to fight. Uh, yeah, it's about friendship. Yeah, I think that people can take away that you don't have to be the popular one. You don't have to be the strong one. You don't have to be the people, the, the people that people want to hang out with to be, to be a good person. Cool. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks. Nice to meet all of you. Thanks.